In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Conkey widgets and themes. In my last video, I showed you how you can install Conkey on your Linux or Ubuntu machine, and I have Ubuntu 18.04, and this should work with any other Ubuntu uh, derivative uh, Linux system. Now, if you have trouble following along with me, I have the instructions or step-by-step instructions on my website and I'll provide the link below that will show you what I'm going to show you on the video and I may even have more on my web page than what I will be showing you on the video but this is the step-by-step -step instructions for installing your widgets and your themes now they're not it's not very difficult to install and there's probably other ways that you can do this but for me I found that this is the, the way that I'm going to show you is the easy way because when you try to do something multiple steps you sometimes forget which way you do it or you mix up the steps and something happens alright before I do get started a lot of the widgets uh, or themes that have widgets within them use weather widgets and before I get started here if you look a lot of them uses the weather app from Yahoo and as of January the 3rd the weather from Yahoo is retired so if you're installing a theme and your weather shows up nothing if it's just a blank widget then you can kind of remove it until someone creates a widget a weather widget uh, that can replace the ones from Yahoo all right to start with uh, you need a, to actually download some widgets and themes and I found a website that has a large number of themes and widgets within it and I thought that would make a good package to show how to install because it contains both widgets and themes and you can click either this link or this link because that's the actual link and it's just uh, the name which is linked here you click here and it opens up in Mediafire now I didn't put this on the website I found it it was uploaded back in 2014 and it still works to this day not all of them do but most of them do you click the download and I'm going to go ahead and close this tab out because it is in my download folder already so I click download and here's the file that will be downloaded it's a 7z which means it's 7 zipped it's compressed uh, I'm not going to uncompress it in this folder I'm going to double click on it and my archive manager opens it up now anytime you see a file or folder that has a dot or a period in front of it that means that it's going to be a hidden file or folder so unless you have your uh, within your Kahop file manager or your file manager go to view hidden files it will be view, hidden from normal view I'm going to double click to open this folder and here are all the different folders which represents either a theme or a widget now before I try to uncompress it or extract it or move it I'm gonna minimize it and I'm gonna to change to my uh, file system here and when I go to file system I don't see conky here because it's hidden I go to view show hidden files and in just a few moments you're going to see after I click my name I go to my home folder uh, so you go to home and then choose your name of your computer and if you look here you see a file called .conky and that's the same folder that you saw within the compressed file so whoever created this just zipped up their conky folder that was hidden and stuck it online so all you need to do is just double click on this and you can see here these are the default uh, themes and widgets that were installed when you installed your conky on your machine now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange my Kaha file manager I'm going to minimize my web page for this moment I'm going to drag it down to the bottom and then I'm going to open up my archive manager and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to stretch it over and resize it if I can get a hold of the side well I don't need to I can just pull it over here and I'm going to select every one of them I'm going to edit select all and that way it selects every one of the widgets and every one of the themes within my compressed uh, file now I'm going to drag these over and I'm going to drop it in my conky folder that's on my computer now it's going to say replace files because some of these were the default ones and whoever compressed them uh, copy those two so I'm going to say replace all it's going to just replace them with the same files so I hit replace all and it's going to go through here and install every one of the files that were on here in my archive manager and place them in my conky folder and it's done so I can go back over here and I can close this out 
I can open up this and now as you can see here this is in my hidden Conkey folder because I did show show hidden files and as you can see here I now have a lot of folders that uh, now contains the themes and the widgets so let me go ahead and I can go ahead and close well I'll minimize it for the time being I'm gonna to go to applications accessories and my Conkey manager now if you look here uh, and I didn't bring it up uh, previously because I've already made a video showing you the previous widgets that were installed if you look here through here there's a lot of widgets there's a lot of widgets that you can uh, have activated within your on your desktops if you go over here to themes there's a lot of different themes you can choose for as well so I'm gonna kinda of start at the top now if your screen doesn't look like mine sometimes you may not have the preview turned on it just looks like this and this turns your list you can change from list view to preview view or you can switch them both on now if you open it up and it's just a blank screen just click this list here to show your list and then to see a preview of what your theme will look like before you actually hit start or check it and hit start to activate it then it gives you a little preview window here so I'm going to scroll down to show you each of these a preview of these and if you can't see it good enough then you can always grab this bar here and pull up just don't forget to drag it back down you can kind of scroll over and say well that's a nice theme there if you wanted to activate it or display it and I put my bar up here and I'm having a hard time dragging it back down let me turn my preview off for a second let me come here go back to preview there's my bar I pull it back down and as you can see here that one's like the green mode but it's red I'm just simply scrolling down here and again you can use the little scroll bar so you won't have the same trouble that you had with the dragging the bar I drag it up too high but I'm not going to go and scroll each of those these are some themes that it installs that one that there's pretty neat it's kind of the Tron movie and someone created a, a conky and a, the theme to it and if you notice over here there will be a little weather app or a widget that it will try to place on your desktop and it will be empty it won't display the weather as you have see up here in my uh, top beside my time let me go back to my widgets as you can see here I do have a widget already installed from the previous default it's the Gotham and you see up here let me minimize this this widget up here is transparent and sometimes on a light background it's hard to read like the Wednesdays and stuff so before I go and install other or change my widgets or install some themes let me show you how you can fix that to make it easier to read here you have a button called the edit widget button if you click on the edit widget button uh, it allows you to change different things uh, within uh, this particular widget but I really didn't have it selected here if I click the edit widget now you can see I got location size transparency time and network uh, if you have a widget that displays the time and if it's on 24 hours you can change it from 12 hours to 24 hours but you always have to hit apply you know it's, a, it's it's the same thing for 24 hours since it's past midnight as it is for the 12 hours so always when you make a change hit the apply button before you close but now here's the transparency by default this widget was set at transparent means that you can see through it if you want to change that you can go to pseudo transparent or you can go to semi transparent and with the semi transparent you get to choose the opacity so if I go up to and I can type in a number or I can hit the plus number but notice you're not seeing anything it doesn't happen live so I'm gonna hit the apply button and as you notice it added a little gray background to it so if I back out a little bit say 20 hit apply then that makes it a little easier to read it gives it a little bit of dark image here on your screen to where it makes it easier to read with light backgrounds now you can change the location as you can see it says top middle I can go top left then hit apply it goes over here to the left I can go to top right and it'll change it over here so as the name implies it tells where it's at now let me go back to the top center again so if I go top middle hit apply if for some reason it's not where I want it to you can see the default settings horizontal this is the horizon like you look at the sun's horizon back here it goes left and right so if I change this number it was at zero if I hit apply notice it's moving over this way when I go back to the negative numbers and I hit apply it moves to the right so you'd think this is left this is right but actually this moves it over if you go on the negative numbers to the right 
increasing the numbers goes over to your left. Remember this was set at zero, so I put it back at zero and hit apply. Your vertical goes up and down. So if you increase the number and I hit apply, it goes down. If you shrink the number, it goes up. So you can always adjust on your screen where you want your widget placed by using the location. If it's too large, you can come in here and say the minimum width, the minimum height, and your padding. And you don't want to decrease or increase your padding too much, or it will start cutting into your widget, cutting off your font so you can't see them. But you can go and adjust these and make them larger and smaller. So if that's too big on your screen, you can make changes here. Now let me go ahead and close this, because this is the default. Let me come in here and choose a theme real quick. Now I do notice that with certain themes, when you go to hit the theme here, it automatically starts loading it and as you can see here the current weather theme uh, has no weather because it uses the Yahoo weather app and that that has been retired but when I hit the themes I can hit even hit play on this machine it has trouble loading now I've already got my folders hit so that's not a problem the only problem that I'm currently having is on certain machines the background that you see here and it's in the folder it's not loading it so what I did was all of these themes on my website I do have at the very bottom of my this web page if for some reason your Conkey manager is not displaying the wallpaper as it should you can click this link here and download it to your downloads folder and uncompress it and the same thing with the fonts if for some reason you look over here and your fonts are not displaying as they look in the preview window you can also download the fonts by clicking this link here downloading extracting and installing the fonts on your system but here, if you click this right here, and I'm not going to, I already have it downloaded, uh, you can go into your download folder. And as you can see here, I got the Conkey Manager here. I got the Conkey fonts. Th these are the fonts that you can install. Then if I go back out and go to pictures, I've got wallpapers here. And then I got my Conkey wallpapers. That's the compressed file. And if you hit uh, extract here, it will extract the folder and these are all the wallpapers that you see now the wallpaper for this conky theme as you see here is the the Tron background and there's actually four different Tron wallpapers that you can install with it this one's not the one you see in the preview because it has numbers and letters on that one so if you hit your preview window then you can see this one's it you can go to image set as de desktop background you can close it out and when you minimize this in your browser you can see that the theme is now set up you now have your time your weather and your disk space you know, as you can see here I'm not using a lot of uh, disk space on this particular hard drive in my system but now you might say well the, since the weather app is not working or the weather widgets not working I don't want to leave something up here that's not working well you can go into your Conky uh, widgets and as you can see here you can scroll down if you simply scroll down you see the ones that are selected here you see on the Tron legacy those are the widgets that select you got a disk time and weather and on my website I've already calculated for my screen image on my other computer uh, that I did this as you can see here I removed the weather widget I calculated some different uh, s the space sizes if you look here this is what I've just installed and if you scroll down it I show you how to edit it and when you do the edit box will come up allowing you to make the changes to it and the first size you're going to do you're going to uncheck the weather widget so that way it's not being displayed and then you're going to move up your the disk space you're going to move it up uh, to these numbers that you see here and I know it's very hard to see so I place them here so let me show you what I'm talking about now we want the weather widget to disappear so I uncheck it unselect it now we have a gap so if you look this is the disk space one so I click here I go up to the edit button and my location here it says 350 I can go back to here on this one where it shows where I had 350 it is now at stays at 50 because the horizontally we want it the same we're just going to move it up vertically to 190 so if you can see here I said set your vertical gap to 190 so if I come in here I type in 190 I hit the apply button and now my little disk space widget is in place of the weather widget so I can hit close 
And before I close out the Conkey Manager, this will only stay active while my computer's running. It, next time I reboot, these little widgets will not uh, appear. Now the wallpaper will, since I set the wallpaper as my desktop. To make this active, every time you boot your computer, you want to click this icon. It looks just like the edit widget, but this is called your application setting. So you click this button. Now notice here, I do have it turned on. As you saw when I started the video, I did have a little widget in the center of my machine. So it was active. And I did have a delay so that my computer would come on, stay steady out, and then the little widget would appear 20 seconds after the computer loaded. If you want to decrease that time, you can decrease it here. But I keep it at the default 20 just to make sure that it's not conflicting nothing. Then these are the locations of where your themes are placed in. This is the dot .conky folder that we uh, copied all of those widgets and themes into. So I'm going to hit cancel out because I already have it turned on. By default this is turned off. So where it says run conky at system startup, you just simply turn this on and hit the OK button. Next time you reboot, then your conky or your widgets and your background will appear on your screen. Now as you can see here we have a lot of other type of uh, backgrounds or themes you can choose. Like here's a red theme that looks pretty nice and on my website I do have some of these showing you how to activate like the red theme and the green theme uh, and how I had them set up so if you look here I choose the red theme and then I go over to my uh, widgets and I show you how to adjust the process panel and the Gotham widgets to make it look like this so let me go ahead and choose the red theme now as you can see here, I'm going to uncheck this one and I'll later make a video and show you how to remove the, the bars at the top where it's just the little widget here. So for right now, I'm going to turn that widget off. I'm going to turn that one off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, the, this widget that says Process Panel and I'm going to find it where it says TG Tech. So I'm going to scroll down to TG Tech and I'm going to click Process Panel. So I'm going to scroll all the way down where it says TG Tech and there's a lot of widgets you can choose. And I'm going to choose the process panel. So I click here. And notice I did choose the theme, but as of right now, it's not showing the, uh, but only the widget. So when I uncheck that, it unchecked here. So remember, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. This is what the background should look like. It looks like a red circuit board. So if I go back into where I've got the Conky wallpapers and all the ones that are on my website are here and you can download these from DeviantArt or a lot of different web spaces uh, or a lot of different web pages on the internet but if you look through here here is the one that's computer love red you can use your little preview button to go through and look through all the wallpapers but the red one's the one that we're installing so if I go to images set as background close this out minimize this as you can see behind my conky, this is the red wallpaper that it would be or should be installing. So I go back to my red widgets and I'm going to uh, uncheck this one here and I'm going to go all the way down to where it's the T Tech and I'm going to choose uh, Tech TG Tech Process Panel. I check this one and then also I'm going to check the one that says Green Apple Gotham. So I'm going to scroll up to the top. Well, it's got Green Apple Gotham, and here's the Green Apple Gotham, and that puts my little clock widget at the top. Now, if you look, if I minimize that, that doesn't look too good. You know, this is not in the center. This is not in the middle. So if you look, I show you how that you can adjust your uh, widgets to move them around on your screen. So sometimes you have to do it by just testing it out, putting numbers in here. So the one that we have selected now is the Gotham one, the one at the top. So if I hit edit and I come up here and I says right now the location is set by default top left. If I go say top middle, hit apply, it's really not the top middle. Remember horizontal this is this way, vertical is this way. So it looks vertically correct. I want to put it in the center here even though it says top middle, it's not the top middle here. So if I scroll Let's say down to 100 to see what that looks like. Hit apply. Still not there. If I hit like 50, hit apply. Still not quite there. If I hit zero, that's going to be it because top middle, the center of it is zero. So when I hit apply, it's now in the center or it looks as close to the center as possible. Now it does look like with that center piece here, it does look like that it could go over some. So I'm going to bring back my widget 
and I'm going to put like twi minus 30, hit apply, minimize, maybe another 10. So if I go minus 40, hit apply, minimize this, maybe one more, minus 40, 50, I'm sorry, hit apply, I minimize, I'm going to go one more, I think I'm out there, hit apply, and that's close enough. Now you can see I have this little widget at the top. Now I don't mind the transparent showing completely through here. This is a dark background. It's when you have the light with light text is where you have the trouble. Now this particular widget here, I want to put it in the center. So I now go and hit close. I go down and I collect, click onto my other one that's selected, which is this one. I go to edit. Now where it says bottom left, I want to go in the middle middle and I want to say your horizontal zero because it's in the middle and I'm going to hit apply as you can see here it got very close so it's in the center I just need to lower it so now we're on the vertical gap so if I go to my vertical gap hit apply I'm going down so I'll go down a few more hit apply let me minimize it and maybe one more go down one hit apply here and that looks pretty good in the center so this is my red themed wallpaper that matches it and I've added these I've changed these out because the theme that matches this one when it popped up in the center it actually had a little bar across the top and in my next video I will show you so when you select a little widget if it has a bar like if you were to open up an application has a little title bar at the top I'm going to show you in my next video how to remove those so that you when you select this particular theme you don't have to substitute another widget for it it will fit in here without that little title bar because you don't want another application popping up with a title bar there so that will be in my next video conky video about editing and working with conkeys and the widgets and themes like I said I do have more themes on my website uh, I've got some if you are using Ubuntu Mate, and I'm not going to show this on YouTube because not everyone has uh, Ubuntu Mate that probably found this video. But if you're using Ubuntu Mate, I do have, since I compressed them, the wallpapers for these, and I do have uh, the names of the widgets that I'm using uh, on these particular themes that I'm, I created myself. So you're not just limited to installing one particular theme. As you can see here we customized it. The little widget that appeared here had the bar so I substituted it with this one and this one so the amount of widgets that you have on your desktop is almost limitless dependent upon however many the mixture or, or arrangements. I could come over here and add more widgets on my screen but I don't want to make it too cluttery or for me too cluttery other people may like a lot of widgets all over covering their desktop because when you open an application it's going to cover it up so as you can see here this is nice I'm clicking on my desktop it's not affecting anything and when I open up uh, a program it doesn't go away it stays here it's not going to interfere with anything so hopefully this has helped you install widgets and themes to your Conky or Conky manager uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and have a great day.